hi there so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can work with Python's unit testing framework called PyTest so first we are going to start with installing PyTest on our system so type the command EIP install dash capital U and then type PyTest make sure that you have Python interpreter installed on your system so that PIP or easy install command works on your system okay, take some time to download the files and once installed it will show you the specific message regarding PyTest installation so here it is it successfully installed PyTest and we can also check py.test and type version name okay so this is PyTest version 2.7 and it also shows the location from where the library is located so let's first create a simple function to show you how exactly it works let's first create a function called okay so it will accept one argument and return that variable plus one Let's create another function or you can see a method where we are going to check for previous functions functionality assert and then functionality and pass it three then check if it's equal to five Going to save it with the file name called pydemo.py store it on my t drive okay okay so don't forget to use colon here and here now that file is saved let's go to the command prompt let me clear this one and now let's type Python then pydemo dot py. Okay, so the result for it. Now I have forgot to call for pytest command. So the command is py dot test and then name of our file. And we are already making sure that we are on D drive. So in the same directory to that of the file let me hit the enter and it should return us the, the test results okay so here is the test result it shows one error so what we are trying to do here is we are checking if the answer equals to five which is not because the answer is four so mathematically it throws the error and that error is captured by assertion error so when checking for assertion it throws up the error and that error is now collected here with the help of pytest so this was a simple example you can go ahead with more in-depth test with pytest and you can execute your own tests with the help of this library so this was a simple tutorial if you have any questions have any other suggestions to let me know in the comments and i will see you in the next video thank you